Good morning. I'm a little sad this morning because I'm here and you're not. And I believe today was the day we had scheduled for field day. So I know that a lot of your families are all in different places right now dealing with what's going on. Uh, we have our own concerns and I'm sure your family does and I just, just hope everybody stays healthy. Uh, we miss you over here at Cotton Creek. This morning's a little bit different. I'm going to show you a bunch of field day activities and I will put out a sheet later today that will show you the equipment that you're going to need. And But right now I'm just going to kind of go through it so you can check it out. Okay. One of the first things we're doing is a three-legged race, so a bandana can work well with that. Uh, a string, a small rope, something like that, tie it around two legs and such. Now, not everybody has um, sacks like we do for field day. So to do a sack race, an old pillowcase, in this case, it's a good old pillow because I think it's ripped somewhere. I thought it was. Oh well. Don't take a good pillowcase and get permission from your parents. The next one we have. This is a fun one. Um, I suggested 10 pennies, but maybe even more to do a spoon uh, and penny rice. If you have marbles, you could put it on there. If you can spare an egg, you could do it on there. But uh, pennies on there. You could also see how many different pennies you could use. You could probably do about 20 pennies if you wanted to. Oh yes, this is a fun one. I know you all don't have those foxtails at home. So make one of those balls that I showed you in one of our prior videos on the daily activities out of tape and newspaper. Stick it in a sock. And this is for throwing. Now, I gotta give you a little hint. This is not gonna go very far unless you get this part of the sock down all wet. And then you can have a contest with a sibling or your parents and see how far you can actually throw the sock ball. Our next one, just any type of a ball. You can do a distance throw. Have a certain line that you want to step at and throw for distance. If you have a balloon, a couple balloons, this one is awesome. Blow up the balloon, put a piece of string around it, attach the string to your foot, and then you have a contest where you are trying to pop your sibling or your parent's balloon on their foot. That's one of them. Now, I meant to do this for you and I didn't, but for a water balloon, if you do not have water balloons, that's understandable. And I don't want to have you have to go out to the store for everything. So for a water balloon, you could fill up a Ziploc bag. Don't fill it all the way up. I'd fill it up about half, three quarters. Make sure it's secured and you can do the water balloon toss back and forth with that. Uh, we're gonna go back to the shoe kick. For those of you that are in fifth grade, I'm sure you remember that from prior field days. You loosen up one of your shoes and it's a contest between you and your sibling to see how far you can flick your shoe. I gotta give you a hint, flip-flops don't work well, sandals don't work well. Sneakers that are very loose on you will work well for that activity. Limbo. I meant to grab a stick from the um, equipment room, but I'm probably going to use like an old rake where two people hold it and then the limbo, you're trying to go underneath it like so. The next one. I have a jumping one, so you're going to be like 10, 15 feet away. You could use a rope for this one. You just put the rope and see how far that you can jump 
over the rope and then just keep moving the rope back further and further and see how, how far you can get. If you have a tape measure, that's great because you can measure the distance of your jumps. I have another station that is just races. So uh, a good thing is I know a lot of kids don't have a good sized ball at home like a soccer ball or a volleyball. If you do that though, you can put that ball between your knees and do that kind of a race with it. There's obviously skipping, galloping, crab walking, hopping. Those are all things you can do for a race. This one's fun. Get a towel, preferably a beach towel, not a nice towel that you're going to use in the, in the bathrooms. And you and a partner would do this one together where you're going to put a ball in the middle of the towel and you're going to try to throw that ball up in the air and catch it. Or if you have enough people, you could have two towels going and you could have uh, you could toss the ball with the towel up in the air and the other group has to try to catch that and then vice versa. Paper plate race. You will see that on the link that I'm going to put out for our field day. The directions on that. There's a video. This is a fun race. If you can spare some paper plates, that's awesome. Um, Another thing you can do for a line, if you don't have a rope, you could either put down some like pebbles or something or rocks on a sidewalk. You could also use some sidewalk chalk if you happen to have some of that. Um, I think that's it. So after I put this video up, I will put a link up as well. And I will show you right now on Cotton Creek. If you go under Mr. Obenesser's page, on Cotton Creek, under physical education menu, at the bottom you will see field day. And I already have that link up there right now. So for those of you, I will also put that with the daily activity. So I can send a link to my field day at my main page so you can get that as well. Hey, I'm sorry we're not having field day. I would have loved to have had field day. It's a perfect day weather-wise for it. But we got to do what we got to do. Have fun with this. It's meant to uh, bring families together and siblings together. So if you can find some time under these stressful times to go out and do this, I think it'd be a great family activity. I suggest kind of gathering up the equipment today and tomorrow, getting an idea of where you want to go to do this, the sidewalk out front, a grass field near your house, something like that, your backyard if you're fortunate enough to have a big backyard and then uh, plan to do it Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Over the weekend, I'm gonna try to film a few of these activities with my family, kind of help bring us together a little bit, and um, I'm looking forward to, to doing that. So, today's daily activity, here's what I want you to do. I'm not gonna do it because I'm solo on the filming today, but I'm gonna ask you to do this. Um, start off with either a cartwheel or a forward roll, and then when you finish that one, come up and do a balance. Um, I think this was the stork stand balance. You remember there's airplane balance, all these types of balance. You come up with your own balance, and then right from that balance, go into a forward roll if you started off with a cartwheel. So you're basically combining some movements. And if you're a little kiddo and you can't do the cartwheel, you can do a mule kick, which I have done on my daily activities as well. So. I just wanted to say, let me see here, there we are. Thanks for participating in the daily activities. It's my intention to try to get something going throughout the summer, probably on a weekly basis. But um, it's, it's been fun, it's been challenging. And I'll try to put out a few next week as well. So as you can see, here we are. Thanks a lot, everybody. Good luck. If you have any questions, let me know. You can send me an email. My email is right on my webpage. Have a great Friday, Cougars.